This is Christine with the Camera Effect Promotions, and I'm here with Matt of Major League. How's Warp treating you? Uh, it's treating us really well. Um, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but I think we expected that going in. But, I mean, you're around so many friends all day that you don't realize, you know, how hard you're working. Like, it's, yeah, it's just definitely. fun. So, we're having friends a good time. Friends make it fun. Who's your musical inspiration? Um, I think there's, like, there's a lot of people and, like, a lot of bands. I mean, I... I think the first guitar solo I heard was from Angus Young of ACDC, and you know, hearing any song that ACDC plays yeah, will make you want to pick up a guitar. But I mean, it's also like the bands I grew up listening to, like Blink One Eighty Two, obviously. Um, <laughs> you know, like Sum Forty One, Jimmy Eat World, uh, Green Day. So many good bands. Yeah, MXPX, um, and then even bands that like I got into when I was older, like I think Foo Fighters is like one of my favorite bands now that I listen to um, like frequently so They're awesome what do you do when you're not on tour not writing music um I think I'm always I'm constantly writing music we, we all are I mean when we're not on tour I literally just, we sit in our rooms and we just kind of jam out whether it's whether we write a song that we don't tell anyone and then you know the next day we forget it like we're I think we're constantly always thinking of like new music and writing new music but I mean I just kind of go home and work a part-time job at a bar late nights for some extra cash and see as many people as I can while I'm home until Makes I sense. leave again and, and then you know, you just keep in going. the occasional lazy day of watching Netflix all day <laughs> so everyone needs one of those yeah um in your opinion what direction do you think your genre of music is going in today's music industry um I think, I believe that, like, you know, we were considered a pop punk band. Um, and as far as music wise, like what our, my band is doing now, um, we just want to kind of stray away from not, I'm not saying, oh, we don't want to be pop punk anymore, but like, we just kind of want people to, you know, stop using genres to describe bands. Because I think that's a huge problem in like what's happening with music right now is that yeah, because so it many, divides people e exactly. But it divides people in a way that could be good and but most likely can like you know be bad. So say uh, say you've never heard of Major League before and someone tells you oh they sound you know they're just a pop punk band like they're a good pop punk band. So you're like okay well I like pop punk like. I listen to The Wonder Years, I listen to Man Overboard, I listen yeah. to The Story So Far, which are like the three big pop punk bands right mm -hmm. now, but we don't sound anything like them. So someone going into that thinking, oh, they sound pop punk, and they listen to us, and they're like, well, they're not as good as them. Like, it, it's like, okay, well, we don't want to be like that. Yeah, you want to be your own, like, exactly. sound, your own Or band. if someone, or if you don't like pop punk, then no one, then we're like, oh, then there's no reason for me to listen to it. You know, it's like, people miss out on, people can miss out on opportunities of hearing new bands because they hear that they sound a certain way, rather than just giving the band itself, you know, I didn't, I had no idea what who Bless the Fall was before this tour. Oh, really? I've never, <laughs> listen, never listened to him before. Like, I didn't know what kind of music they were. And I met the guys, like, very early on on the tour, and they were all nice, like, super nice guys, so I figured I'd catch their set. And, like, me going into it, like, I don't usually listen to that kind of music, but, mm -hmm. you know, I gave them that chance to, like, hear them that I probably would have never done, like, if I met them or if I knew, yeah, oh, they played, just like, heard, like they, oh, they're just a, me they're a metal band. I'm like... Well, then I probably wouldn't have went and saw them, you know. But it's, I think it's because I, I try to not look at bands that have like a genre, you know. Yeah, it's I like try not the best part of Warp because it's everyone. Yeah, and I could just everything. I could literally walk around right now and hear, I could I could still hear, twenty bands that I've never heard before, mm -hmm. and I think that's what Warp Tour can do, for you know kids is to. You know, if you just walk around and keep your ears open for anything that you're not familiar with. Um, and we, we talk about it a lot, too. Like, we notice, like, a lot of kids will 
have that one band they want to go to, like they want to go see, like Pierce the Veil or yeah. Miss May I or Asking Alexandria, like the big headlining band. And then all day they'll they'll just like kind of sit under the tree and they should just go. The There's shade. so many yeah. people. Yeah, and I and I understand. Watching. I understand. Like it's hot. Like I mean, hey, we're out there every day. Like we know. Yeah, definitely. The heat, but it was so different back in the day. Like when we would go to Warp Tour, like meaning like my band. Uh, you know, you get there and you're like, okay, how many bands can I see in in the eight amount of to time. ten hours? Yeah. Like, you know, I'm jumping from like stage to stage, and you don't really see that anymore. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of like, you know, people like waiting in lines to you know just get a selfie for the Instagram, which is cool. Like, yeah, if you but... if you, you want to like if you're meeting like your favorite band and like your idols and stuff like that, but it you know back then that we didn't have it was that. for we the music yeah. exactly I, I think it's definitely like you know it's definitely taken a turn in a different direction over the past couple of years but i mean i think everything has changed within the past couple of years yeah definitely the internet it's like the media. social media twirl yeah it's it's brought a lot of things into the light and then it's also killed a lot of like good things too so. yeah that was like my next question does it make does it make acceptance of everyone, no matter their race, gender, or sexual preference or religion. Does it make it worse or better? The internet. Um, it's equally. Uh, you know, you see a lot of hateful things that are said on the internet about people and who they are and what they believe in, and then, but you can also find people that are on your side about it too. Yeah. So, you know, it's. We, we say all the time, like, God, I wish, like, we could just shut off the internet for a year. And, like, I feel like if, if there was no internet for a whole year, this, gen like, the generation of kids coming up, they would lose their minds. Like, they wouldn't, they would not they know wouldn't what know to do. They wouldn't know what to do because there's, like, four-year-olds with iPhones. Exactly. When I was, I didn't have a cell phone until ninth or tenth grade when, you know, like, when I was, like, getting dropped off at, like, the movies. Like, when I was a kid, you go outside. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You ride your too. bikes. You play tag. You play sports whatever like you just you hang out like you just you play you're a kid like there's no reason for you for you know my six-year-old cousin to have a, an ipad and an <laughs> iphone yeah and a macbook i'm like there's no there's no reason and, and a twitter and, and instagram <laughs> like who what pictures yeah, are everyone has at? it like, now yeah and it's it's insane but you know that's just what the internet has come to and i mean hey there's people that get famous off the internet like there's yeah. there's good people and bad people that get famous off the internet you know and it it's a good thing and it's a bad thing but if i could do without the internet i think i would do without the internet yeah it's a lot like everyone's more in tune with everything outside of the yeah. internet because everyone will just be like oh i gotta check my instagram i gotta exactly. check my text message but it would be so different if we shut it off for a year mm -hmm. that'd be nuts um, for someone who's new to your music, what song do you suggest that they listen to first? Um, I would say Kaleidoscopes off of our new record. That's just a kind of very constant tempo, like upbeat, just kind of jam your head out to. And it kind of shows like our energy that we bring onto the stage as well. And every time we play that song in the set, I feel like the set's like restarting. You know, it's just that one song that kind of like gives me... That second like wind an energy of, boost? Yeah, that second wind of energy to like get me through the second half of the set, and I always love playing that song. What's your best tour memory so far on this tour? Um, let's see. Well, I, I spent my birthday on uh, in Florida on the third, and we were. I think that was like probably. I think we were in West Palm Beach, Florida. Or, on the third Might or something like that. I think you guys had three Florida dates. We had four Florida dates four. because we had a Jacksonville. Um, but uh, it was the first Florida date, and we were right out on the water. So it was like when we played, like you saw, like you looked out, like onto the water, and I think we saw like dolphins and everything passing by. That's awesome. And then uh, our friends in uh, Beartooth, I got to go up and play the ending to uh, one of their songs, Dead, and that was kind of cool just to be in a different setting for 20 seconds yeah it's fun and, yeah and just kind of jam out with the my friends how did you guys come up with the band name um brian actually came up with it before i even started the band or not i didn't start the band brian came up with it before the uh i was even in the band and major league used to be major league used to be like a, a metal 
band, like kind of like, you know, hardcore metal back when they, he started in high school. Yeah. And uh, he, I guess like their first show, they didn't have a name. And the guy was just like, all right, I'll put TBA until you guys think of something. He was like, okay. And then like came to like a day before and he's like, hey, I need a name for the flyer. And he just, he was like, major league, I don't know. Like it just, <laughs> it's just a it name just that, yeah, it's just a name that he felt stuck and I guess could be marketable. I mean, you look at it now and it's, I, I think it's a pretty mar- marketable name and yeah, you know, it stands out. Yeah, it stands out. People get it stuck in their head. It's just now there's so many sports theme band names now. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh wait, so you were on that tour with Wonder Years? We're like, no, that was Modern Baseball. Oh, oh, so you were on that tour with All Time Low? Like, no, that's State Champs. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. Then like Knuckle Puck and like, you know, there's so many band names that get that are sports related now that we have so many people who like they'll come up and they'll think like, oh, you, you're on State Champs and like. Nah, <laughs> the the worst band, Major League. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. No, I love Sea Champs. They're, they're uh, some of the best friends. Yeah, they're playing Mixtape Fest here in August. Yeah. I'm going to that, I think. Yes. For anyone who's struggling with a hard time right now or, like, having a bad day, what would you say to boost their spirits? Um, I guess to just, you know, try and keep up, or try and keep, light of the positive things that are going on in your life right now i mean to be honest i'm kind of having like a weird day today i, I just woke up and i'm just like hey, man i feel out of it like i don't we know all have those days yeah <laughs> so i mean but i'm just kind of keeping myself busy and walking around and squaring people with squirt guns just you know just <laughs> have fun know, enjoying just, yourself yeah just do something that takes your mind off of all the weight that's you know yeah pushing down on it and what's, uh, for the last question, what are your plans after Warp Tour? Uh, we have a tour lined up that um, I can't say who with just yet, but we'll be announcing it pretty soon. But it's um, it's definitely a more heavier tour okay. that we'll do, and uh, the heaviest tour we'll, that we'll ever do. But we're all pretty excited because we're in the you know, hardcore yeah. scene, and we love listening to that kind of music. and So it's going to be nice to be around that for a full u.s tour is it like a a fall tour yeah it's uh in september and october okay yep sounds awesome thanks for chatting with us no worries (laughs) this has been the camera effect promotions and i'm matt from major league thank you yep